Okay, now I'd like to talk about facility design. And I like to use curves in facilities. Why do curved chutes work? Well, one big reason is, is as the cattle come around the curve, they think they're going back to the corrals. Another reason why a curve works is, that, is, it, is the curve prevents the cattle from seeing people and other scary things up ahead. You tend to have a lot less backing up in a curved chute. Straight chutes, you get a lot more backing up because they see the commotion. Also, cattle have a natural circling behavior. And the curve uh, utilizes that behavior. And the best place for the handler to work is on the inside radius of the curve. Then the cattle will tend to circle around you. Now, curved corrals have got to be laid out correctly. If you don't lay them out correctly, they will not work. And one of the worst mistakes you can make when you build a curved system is what I call dead-ending the, the single-file chute. An animal standing in that crowd pen, in that round crowd pen, when he's standing right where the chute entrance is, he must be able to see up there two to three body lengths before the chute bends. Now, if you'd like more information on this, I've got a whole lot of information on design on my website at grandon.com. Also, I have information in my corral design book. But when people will call me up and say, I have a curved chute system, and it doesn't work, what's wrong? And then they draw me a diagram, and the mistake they've made is they've dead-ended the chute. The trick is, the animal has to see a place to go out of that crowd pen, then you go around the curve. Now, I have this laid out with a 16-foot radius on my single file, and the animal can see up there two body lengths. My crowd pen is a 12-foot radius. Don't make crowd pens too big. You just, they just get too big and they're bad. And he's working alongside the chute. Don't build overhead catwalks. Overhead catwalks are awful. The animals just panic when you walk over them. This is the reason why you don't want to have a straight chute with see-through sides. This is a cow's eye view right into a straight chute. You can see right down there to the squeeze chute, see all the people around. It's just really scary. Now, if you have a facility like this, one of the things you can do to fix it up is put some solid sides on it. That will help a lot. Now, here's an example of a really bad dead-ended chute. And there was only one way to fix this chute, and that was to rip the thing out. You know, it's very nice, heavy-duty construction, but it doesn't work. An animal standing in that crowd pen cannot see a place to go. This diagram shows a properly laid out uh, curved system. There are different ways they can be laid out that will work. This is not the only way. But the thing I like about this method is it's pretty well goof-proof. You'll notice there on the diagram there's a dotted line. That's the layout line. And the radius points for the three curves line up on that layout line. And if you keep your radius points on that layout line, it will always work. You won't have a problem with dead-ending your chute. The animal will always be able to see from the crowd pen up the single file chute. Another thing that's essential in all handling facilities is you've got to have non-slip flooring. There's no way you're going to have good handling if they're sliding around and skidding on the floor. This grating was put down in front of the squeeze chute so the cattle wouldn't slip when they came out. Now, another thing we need to do is we've got to handle them quietly so they don't jump out of here and run out of there like a freight train. I want animals walking into that squeeze chute, and I want animals walking out of that squeeze chute. A lot of cattle get injured banging up against the head gate. They get what's called hematomas, bruised injuries, and that's just caused by rough handling. There's just absolutely no excuse for that. Uh, I want them walking. And you learn quiet methods, you're going to find that you're going to work them really fast. And you might ask, but I have to get them worked fast. Well, big feed yards have got lots of cattle to work. And there are several big feedlots now that got rid of all of the rough handling. They got rid of the hot shots. And I've, I've worked with those feed yards, and their owners tell me it is paid. In fact, at one of the feed yards, they told me that their cattle go back on feed more quickly after they've been handled. The other feedlot manager told me that when he got rid of all the rough stuff and all the running and chasing and, and electric prodding in his yard, that 
he cut his respiratory deads in half. In other words, there was a big bottom line payback from quiet handling. But you still got to have non-slip flooring because uh, animals will panic if they slip on the floor. This just shows kind of another handy way you can design a facility. You've got a completely solid outer fence. But the inner fence is solid most of the way up, and then you can just work on the ground. You don't have to have that little catwalk running along on the inside. And I'm getting to really like this design. You can uh, just walk along the chute there, and the animals move forward. If you walk back in the opposite direction of their movement, they will go forward. This works, works really well. Uh, and it's something that's easy to do on an existing chute. But I want the outer fence completely solid, and I want the crowd pen completely solid, I want the crowd gate and the loading ramp sides completely solid. This is only done on the inner radius only.